Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. My name is Mike and today we're in Port St. Lucie, which is halfway between Daytona and Miami on the east coast of Florida. We're in a community called Verano. It is a PGA 54 hole golf course community that has tons of amenities for anyone that decides to live here. The home behind us that we're going to see today is called the Valerie. It's built by Coulter Homes. It is a three bedroom, three and a half bath home with 3,224 square feet. And the price at time of filming is gonna be $729,900. Now that is the base price, does not include lot premiums or upgrades. And this home has a lot of upgrades, including a second floor that would be an additional cost. So do keep that in mind as we look through the home. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the outside of the home and then take you on the tour of the inside. So follow me this direction. As we come up, we see we have some really nice tropical landscaping on either side, a nice paved driveway coming up to a two car garage on the left and we have a single car garage on the right. As we come up, we have like a little courtyard in this home, which we really love. We think it's a really nice design. So we have the landscaping on either side with these beautiful trees. And then we have a gated entrance. You open up the gate and you come into the courtyard. So as we enter into the courtyard, we see that this is a really nice outdoor living area in the front of the home. We have a sitting area, a little coffee table, and then over to the left is a really cool architectural wall with some lava rocks, really beautiful stonework, and of course these beautiful decorations coming down from the ceiling as well. We come up to the front entry. The front entry is covered. We have a couple carriage lights on either side. We step up and to the covered area with the French doors in front of us with these glass, glass going all the way around the entrance. Now on either side, we have beautiful stonework going all the way up to the ceiling area as well. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. As I walk in, the first thing that stands out is the stonework underneath me. So it matches the entryway and how we had the stonework going up on either side of the entryway as well. It's surrounded by wood floors that go throughout the majority of the first floor. Now the entryway is very wide. And what I like is how I like how they have the darker and the lighter shade. You'll see that going throughout the whole home. Above me, the ceilings are elevated. We see that we have a tray ceiling with some really beautiful wood trim around and also some crown molding and a couple light fixtures hanging down from the ceiling as well. So to my left, we have the bedroom, be bedroom number three, laundry room, half bath, and also access to the two car garage and the upstairs. We'll show you that later on in the video, but let's go ahead and start over to our right, which is the dining room. So follow me this direction. And as we go into the dining room, we have a hallway that goes into bedroom number two. And then we come into the dining area. The dining area is set up for eight people to sit around. We have this beautiful light fixture above us. And of course, elevated ceilings here as well with the tray ceiling and the matching wood trim that we saw in the entry. We have a window looking out. And what I really like is how they had that little extra wood trim going across to hide the curtain fixtures uh, behind the wood trim. So I think that's a really cool little feature as well. Over to my right, we have an accent wall, which is elevated a little bit out of the wall area. So we have it like a three dimensional area with some nice wood trim and a couple lights on either part of the wood trim with those dark and light colors. They've done a really good job with all that. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway into bedroom two. So as we enter bedroom two, we see this is a nice size spare bedroom. We have a king size bed. On either side of the king size bed, we see we have some floating shelves, some wood trim going up to the ceiling and a couple of lights hanging down from the ceiling as well. All the bedrooms here are en suites. So as we come over, we see that we do have a bathroom connected. We move from the wood floor to some really nice porcelain flooring in the bathroom. The bathroom has some dark wood cabinets, beautiful countertops, sink, mirror that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And of course, a light fixture coming out of the center of the mirror. We have our toilet and then in the far area, we have a frameless shower. And the shower floor has this beautiful pebble design in it as well. I think everything just looks really great with the bathroom. So let's go ahead and go back out into the bedroom. Now, as we come over here, this wall, on the other side of this wall is the single car garage. There's no access to it from this side of the house. They do have a side entry for that garage as well, but I'm sure you could probably put a door in here and make that in, uh, entrance into the home as well. As we come out this direction, we're gonna go ahead and show you one thing that I didn't mention earlier, which is the walk-in closet. So this specific bedroom does have a really nice size walk-in closet. As we come back out, another really cool feature about this bedroom that I didn't mention earlier is that we have a couple windows. The windows look out on the courtyard, so you get a really beautiful view from this bedroom. So follow me this direction. We'll go ahead and go down the hallway and then take a left back out by the front entryway. So as I go to the left, 
Haley's gonna go by the front door. Haley is my daughter and also films me here in uh, Port St. Lucie today. Uh, as you see from that direction, we get a, a, a view of what you'll see when you come in the home, which is the family room, the breakfast nook, and also the kitchen. So you get a really great view as you walk in. You can even see sliding glass door and the outdoor living area. So let's go ahead and talk about the family room. So as we come into the family room, you can see it is a large family room. We have two couches, a couple sitting areas, so you can sit here, have nice conversations, watch TV. I love the accent wall, and you see that same sort of color combination with the dark browns and also the white and all the wood trim that goes around and the decor they put in it. The interior designers did an amazing job here, as they always do at Coulter Homes. We have an elevated ceiling, tray ceiling, and also the same wood trim that we saw in the entry and dining room, and of course, a fan above me. Now, as I look over to the right, we see the kitchen. The kitchen actually extends all the way over into the family room. We have a cocktail area here with a sink, beautiful countertops, and of course, all these cabinets. And of course, the cabinets above us, they go all the way up with some crown molding around it as well. That cabinets continue all the way around the side. As we come around the side, we see that we have an ice maker and plenty of storage. And of course, all the cabinets have the soft clothes as well. So we have our refrigerator, it's all cafe appliances here. And then over to my left, is gonna be the center island. It is a large center island. Beautiful, beautiful countertop as far as the design goes. It being for five people around it, three pendant lights coming from the ceiling as well. And as we continue the tour around the kitchen, we see we have more cabinets and storage. You have plenty of storage here, but the pantry is even bigger. And it goes all the way over into the butler's pantry. So let's go ahead and go and show you that. So as you come into the butler's pantry, more cabinets, of course the countertops, the backsplash is even the same countertop or the same stone as the counters themselves and the cabinets going up. Going through here is gonna go right into the dining room that we showed you just a minute ago. And then as we go to the right, we see that we're in the pantry and this is a large pantry. Again, this is a 3,224 square foot house. As the base design goes, this pantry is one of the larger pantries I've seen in any house under 4,000 square feet. So let's go ahead and go back out, show you the rest of the kitchen. So as you come out here, we see we have our double oven. It's also a cafe oven. So you have plenty of space here. You get your turkey done and get anything else that you need baked. The countertops continue to continue to go all the way through the kitchen. We have our stove top and also our air vent. On the other side, we see the center island, more ca cabinets, of course, our sink and our faucet. We also have a dishwasher here as well. On the other side, we have our microwave, which is also a convection oven here underneath the countertops. And then a little extra cabinets all the way to the end until we go to our breakfast nook. So we come to the breakfast nook, also one of the bigger breakfast nooks that we've seen in a house this size. Currently set up for eight people to sit around, have a really nice light fixture above us. And what's really nice is these built-ins on either side. Now, this house has a ton of upgrades if you haven't figured it out already. So it's gonna be quite significantly over that base price we talked about at the beginning of the video. But we have wine refrigerators and you really need to like wine here because we have two of them and they have plenty of storage. You can have a lot of chilled wines pull everything out. This is a monogram wine refrigerator. It even has a soft close as well. We have a drawer. The drawer gets you some ice. You can have your ice stored there and even a freezer. In between the two wine refrigerators, we do have this countertop where it has a seating area for three people looking out through this window where you can see the outside pool and also the lake behind this house. So let's go ahead and go back over towards the primary bedroom suite. As we go, We'll pass the family room. And then to our right is the sliding glass door. The sliding glass door goes out to the covered outdoor living area. And of course the pool that we'll show you later on in the video. As we come through this area, we go into the primary suite. The first thing we have is a little linen closet here right off of the primary suite. And then we come through the door and here is the bedroom. So the bedroom has a king size bed, couple end tables on either side. I love the wallpaper behind the headboard. And of course the white trim that surrounds the mirrors on either side of the bed. Above us, we have elevated ceilings. There's a tray ceiling with some pretty cool architectural designs in the ceiling. And of course, a light fixture coming down from the center. Let's go ahead and go into the primary bathroom. So as we leave the wood floors, we go into porcelain tile through the double doors into the bathroom. The bathroom has two sink areas, one sink here and one sink on the other side. We'll show you the sink area in more detail over there. We have a garden tub in front of us. And of course, there's a beautiful picture window above the garden tub. So as we continue to go through, we'll come to one of the sink areas. We have the dark black cabinets with the beautiful hardware on it. And of course, the solid black countertops that do have a little bit of white going through it as well. And of course, the sink, the mirror that goes all the way up to the ceiling and it's framed in the same color as the cabinets. Over to my right, it's gonna be the water closet. And then as we go to the next area, we go into our main closet. So follow me in here. Again, this is a very large closet. So we have a large pantry, we have a very large closet for a house this size. We have a center island in the closet, plenty of storage 
all the way around the closet. And then what's a really cool feature as well, that a little added touch is they have this little drop zone. So you open this up and you can drop your laundry in here and there's a door right into the laundry room, which we'll show you on the other side of the home. So let's go ahead and go back out. As we go back out, we still need to show you the shower. So the shower is right here by the entrance of the bathroom. It does have this brushed aluminum frame around the top, but it's frameless on the edge here. We have the hexagon tiles on the floor and of course porcelain tiles going all the way up to the ceiling. So really nice shower as well. So let's go ahead and follow you back through to the primary bedroom suite. You see the window looking out on the beautiful floor today we have today and also the pool and the water area behind the home. So as we go this way, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We definitely appreciate that both me and Haley. Appreciate all our subscribers and the comments. We try to get to all of them. Um, so if you have any comments or questions, make sure you put that down there. Also, if you're looking to buy or sell a home in Florida, you can give me a call directly at 407-487-3030. Myself and my partners throughout the state of Florida are very knowledgeable and experienced to help you find the right home or sell your home. So as we come over here, now we're on to the left side of the entrance. We have our half bath. So let's go ahead and go into the half bath. To go to the half bath, we have the same sort of colored cabinets we saw in the primary suite, but the countertop's a lot different. So this countertop reminded me of like a tiger when I looked at it. It's very interesting. I think it'd be a conversational piece. It's really beautiful. We really, really do like it. And of course the sink, faucet, we have our mirror, and then this beautiful tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. And of course the light fixture coming out as well. So let's go ahead and show you the laundry room, which will be the next stop. As we come into the laundry room, we have a pretty nice area laundry room. We have our washer dryer some cabinets for some storage. And this is the door that takes you into that drop zone that we saw in the primary uh, closet as well. So pretty neat, just put your dirty clothes, your clothes there, boom, you're right in the laundry room. Over to the right, it's gonna be bedroom number three. As we come into bedroom number three, we have some nice plush carpet, a bed, a couple of end tables on either side. And of course we have some wood trim and the upper part of the wood trim, would you see that we have some wallpaper put in there as well. And of course this beautiful light fixture above me. Over to my left, this one has its own bathroom as well. They're all en suites here. As I come to the bathroom, we get the beautiful ceramic tile floors, and of course the cabinets, nice countertop, and of course the mirror going all the way up to the ceiling with the light fixture popping out. And this one does have a frameless shower with sort of subway tile going up to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and go back out. And on the other side, we see the closet. This one's a little bit smaller than the bedroom that we had on the other side of the house, but we have a little typical closet that we have on this side as well. So follow me in this direction. We're we'll gonna go ahead and go right and go down the hallway and show you what we have down here. This door is just the air handler. And then we have a drop zone or storage area, which is right off of the two car garage. So you have a place to put storage here or drop anything down, even has a plug and some cabinets up here as well. Right behind this door is gonna be a two car garage. Go ahead and open that up so you can sort of see. We have space on either side of the garage door so you can easily open and close your garage or your car door and of course epoxy floors as well. And you go ahead and close that. And the only thing we have left is the second floor and outside. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and check out the second floor. All right, so here we are on the second floor. As I come up on the second floor, remember this is an upgraded area and adds an extra bedroom and bathroom to the home. So we do have the wood floors. And then what's really nice is they have an accent wall over to the end that's got a mirror. It's framed in white. And then we have a couple floating shelves where you can put some storage areas as well. They've made this into an exercise room, but you can easily make it into a game room or a bedroom, whatever you want. On the far end where the TV is, we do have an accent wall that's painted black with some really cool wood trim. And then on the other side, we do have a bathroom. So follow me this direction. I'll show you the bathroom. As we walk into the bathroom, we go from our wood floors to the ceramic tile floors. And of course we have the cabinets. The cabinets are in dark brown, solid white, countertops, sink. And of course we have a mirror going all the way up to the ceiling with a light fixture in between. And of course our toilet. This one does have a tub and ceramic tile going all the way up to the ceiling with this really nice picture window where you can get some really good natural light. What's really interesting about this here is behind this door is another door. That door goes into a walk-in closet and it is a spacious walk-in closet. So you do have plenty of space if you do want to make this into a bedroom. So the only thing we have left to do is to look at the outside living area. So I'll see you out by the patio. All right, so welcome to the outside of this specific home. So as I come out here, the first thing I notice are the beautiful travertine tiles that go throughout the outdoor living area. We have a sliding glass door behind me going into the family room. Over here, we have the breakfast nook, a window going to the breakfast nook. And then as I look up, we have this beautiful wood ceiling going all the way across with a couple fans and some recessed lights. One of the upgrades, the structural upgrades they did on this specific model is they did add a half bath out here as well. So you do have a cool half bath. And in there, you do see the ceramic tile floors and of course the white cabinets with the black counter 
countertops with the little white in it. And of course the mirror going all the way up. And they did some really good jobs with the uh, wall as well, painting it the two different colors that we saw throughout the house. So let's go ahead and show you the rest of the outdoor living area. As I come out here, you'll see that we have this very large pool. You can easily do laps back and forth on here plenty of space for that. We have a couple tanning shelves on either side of the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi has got the beautiful like cream color tile going around it with a couple water features coming out and everything's screened and we have the beautiful tropical landscaping going all the way around the specific home. So if you're looking for a little piece of paradise in Florida, this will be definitely a community to look at. Both me and Haley travel all of Florida. We see a lot of things. This is a pretty good value for the money for the, what you get for the price. So if you're interested in more information about this, make sure you give us a call. All my information will be below, including my email and also the phone number that you can call or text anytime. So until next week, talk to you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.